Video games. They get blamed for everything these days. Obesity, declining school performance, violent and criminal behaviour. What if I told you that playing video games can actually be good for you? And before I go on, I need to clarify that the games I'm talking about aren't the brain training games. I'm not talking about the exercise games like the Wii Fit. And I'm definitely not talking about games like Tetris or Angry Birds. The games I'm talking about are referred to as first-person shooter games. Games like Call of Duty and Battlefield. You know, the ones where you run around shooting bad guys and they try and shoot you back? Well, believe it or not, but playing these games can actually improve your cognitive abilities. Previous research has compared gamers with non-gamers and made non-gamers play these games for a couple of weeks and found improvements in cognitive multitasking performance, as well as finding improvements in attention, memory and reaction times. So what do we use these abilities for? Think about driving, your multitasking, controlling the brake, the accelerator, avoiding cars and pedestrians, reacting quickly to potential hazards. And you're probably doing this while listening to music, talking to somebody, following your GPS, or even putting your makeup on. Finding ways of improving multitasking is therefore important. And previous research has begun to do this. The problem is that the tests used to measure multitasking performance don't last very long, ranging from five to 30 minutes. And what we know about video game players is that they play between two to four hours on average at a time. My PhD research is investigating whether playing these video games not only improves multitasking performance, but whether this high level of performance can be maintained for the entire duration of a two hour task. To do this, I'll be using software developed by NASA that's usually used to measure astronauts' multitasking performance, but I'll be comparing gamers and non-gamers, then making non-gamers play these games for a couple of weeks to determine whether playing these video games makes them perform better for longer. So why is this important? Well, besides the fact that it gets played video games and call it research, I'm hoping that this will provide a new and more enjoyable way of improving people's cognitive abilities, not just for NASA pilots, but also everybody else. Think about when you're driving again. Have you ever noticed that after a couple of hours, you start to get tired? Your mind starts to wander. You're not paying as much attention to the road as you should be. So you reach on to turn the radio on to um, keep you awake, when suddenly a car pulls out in front of you. Are you able to react quickly enough to avoid an accident? <coughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe you should start playing video games. Thank you. <laughs>